Hello and welcome to Nano Technology channel. This is Marzi Hosseini. In this video, I'm going to talk about self-cleaning surfaces, especially self-cleaning glasses. Self-cleaning surfaces are surfaces with inherent ability to remove any debris or bacteria from their surfaces. The left picture shows a conventional glass and the right picture shows a self-cleaning glass. Self-cleaning glass is a specific type of glass with a surface that keeps itself free from dirt. Uh, that they have a very thin uh, layer of nanoparticles on it. Uh, that, uh, for example, non, uh, titanium dioxide nanoparticles can use uh, for this purpose. Uh, the layer of nanoparticles on uh, self-cleaning glass is very thin. Uh, so it cannot reduce the transparency of the uh, self-cleaning glass. The field of self-cleaning coating on glass is divided into categories, uh, superhydrophobic and superhydrophilic. Um, these uh, two types of coatings both uh, can clean themselves from dirt. Uh, in uh, superhydrophobic surface, the contact angle value the water droplet contact angle value with the surface is very high uh, and more than 160 degrees and very, with very low inclination of the surface the water droplet can roll off the surface uh, and in a super hydrophilic surface the water droplet contact angle with the surface is very low and the water droplet spreads over the surface uh, these coatings chemically break down dirt when exposed to light and the process known photocatalysis is happened in these surfaces. Uh, we can change the uh, wettability of a surface but by creation of uh, non-coatings on a surface. Uh, for example, we can change uh, wettability of surface uh, from super hydrophobic or hydrophobic towards uh, super hydrophilic or hydrophilic. Uh, also, we can change uh, a surface from super hydrophilic or uh, hydrophilic properties with low water droplet contact angles towards super hydrophobic or hydrophobic uh, with high water droplet contact angle. Also, uh, we can change the wettability of a ne uh, neutral uh, surfaces that in, in them. Uh, the uh, water droplet contact angle with the surface is about 90 degrees can change towards super hydrophilic or hydrophilic with low contact angle value. Also, neutral uh, surfaces can change towards uh, super hydrophobic or hydrophobic with uh, high contact angle values. Uh, there are some processes in order to create super hydrophobic coatings including plasma or ion etching, uh, nanolithography, crystal growth on a material surface. And uh, the ultimate goal uh, in developing super hydrophobic surface uh, is to create the self-cleaning properties of the lotus leaves that uh, there is in the nature. Uh, in this picture, you can see a super hydrophobic and super olofibilic surfaces. The right picture shows uh, that uh, the water droplet contact angle in oil medium with the surface is about 168 degrees. Uh, so the surface is uh, super uh, hydrophobic and the water droplet contact and oil droplet contact angle with the surface is about zero and oil spreads over the surface. So the, uh, the surface is at the same time super Olophilic. Uh, with creation of nano coatings on this surface, we change the wettability of these surfaces towards uh, super hydrophilic and super olophobic. Uh, when we use uh, uh, titanium dioxide, uh, zinc oxide, uh, hybrid nano particles with concentration of 0 0.33 uh, weight. Uh, percent the um, oil droplet contact angle with the surface in water medium was 172 uh, two degrees and the water droplet contact angle 
in oil medium uh, on the surface was zero degrees and the water droplet spread over the surface and so the surface um, the surface uh, is became uh, super hydrophilic uh, and super olophobic uh, when we change the uh, when we change the uh, concentration of nanoparticles, the uh, wettability also change. Uh, when we use uh, the nanoparticle with concentration of 0 0.07 weights per cent, the oil droplet contact angle in water medium uh, with the surface was 162 degrees, and the water droplet contact angle on oil medium in the surface was uh, 90.4 uh, degrees uh, and when we use uh, the concentration of uh, 0 0.033 uh, weight percent uh, the water droplet contact angle with the surface in oil medium uh, was 155 degrees and the water droplet contact angle in oil medium was uh, 7.8 Degrees. In all of these uh, surfaces, uh, the coating, um, the nano coating, creates super hydrophilic and uh, super olophobic uh, coatings. Uh, here you can see uh, the oil droplet injection on a surface. As you can see, uh, the oil droplet is not uh, spread over the surface in water medium. Uh, and it water uh, the oil droplet contact angle and we, uh, with the surface is very high and the surface is underwater super olophobic there are some uh, some methods in order to surface characterization of super hydrophobic or super hydrophilic surfaces for example uh, sem is used to examine morphology of fabricated uh, surfaces uh, and uh, contact angle uh, is used to uh, characterize surface wettability of the surface and uh, atomic force microscopy or FFM is used to study the local roughness and mechanical properties uh, of a surface AFM is also used to characterize adhesion and friction properties of micro and nano patterned, uh, patterned uh, surfaces. Uh, in this picture, you can see SF cleaning colors. Uh, a cotton textile uh, covered with nanostructure that is not uh, visible to uh, naked eye and with um, uh, magnifying the surface uh, more than uh, 150,000 times uh, we can see that nanostructures are grown on uh, cotton textile uh, thank you for watching this video if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so and please put your comments and help us to modify uh, this uh, video bye